It's very early in the morning and Mrs K and I decided before the sun gets too hot we'll get these berries into jam pots. So mammoth picking session. We're dog sitting at the moment so it was an early walk and now it's going to be an early berry. Right, we're underway. Well, that didn't take very long at all. One full tub of red currants, and this bush is still laden. Uh, there's a few here that just need to continue ripening, so we'll leave those for another day because we've got, well, shed loads of bushes. Well, there's all sorts of tools to pick these little berries, but I'm a do it with your hands type of guy. We've tried all those special forky things, but they just don't work out for me. I'm sure you all have your own preferred method, but getting your hands dirty is the way I like to do it. Right, we start getting a bit picky, pun intended, and I leave these sort of small clusters to the birds because there's so many big clusters to be had. Right, onward. Well, welcome to the new channel, Gardening with Dogs. And as you can see, Mila is being very helpful this morning and we're getting an awful lot done. Not. Well, we filled all those buckets, so I think it's home. Get some jam ready. Give Mila a bit of a rest. Come on, let's go. It is quite enjoyable to water the allotment in the early evening. It's nice and cool and while well, the water stays in the soil, that's the main thing, it doesn't evaporate under the heat of the sun. Well, I'm going to give these sprouts a bit of a water, but I'm going to take a look at these potatoes with you, see if they recovered from that devastating drying period that I subjected them to. Let's take a look. Well, on first inspection, they look okay. It does look as though they're still leaning over a bit in the center here, but generally they look like they've recovered reasonably well. So along with these sprouts, I think I'll give them a bit of a water too. Just make sure, get some continuity of watering back and see how they get on. Well, it's been a long day of, well, red currant picking and red currant de-stalking. And it's finally been on the cooker and it's in the strainer. So tomorrow morning, hopefully we'll have lots of lovely red currant juice to make jam with. That's the plan. Good times. I never realized was that lilies close up during the night. That beautiful lily that's been coming out during the day, tightly budded for the night. Wow, you learn something every day in gardening. Well, that's the plot pretty much fully watered now and the evening sun is setting. The polytunnel gets the last of the sun on this garden which is probably a good thing. Just keeps everything ticking over nicely in there. There we go. Good night.
it's a crazy heat in here. I wouldn't normally be in here. It's half past 12 midday. But Mrs. K decided we're having salad. So it's time to pick some lettuce leaves and we'll see what tomatoes I can gather too. So temperature 44.8 degrees centigrade and it's been 47.9 in here today. So I know I'm going to have this one because this is just perfect. There we are, that's the first tomato of the season and it's a letta. It's quite small but it looks delicious and I've got quite a few that are starting to ripen now. I think I'm going to leave that one. We've got one under here that's looking ready. No, not quite. And I can see one over there. In this case of hunt the right tomato. There's some fairly big tomatoes on these little plants. But there we are, beauty. But uh, it's worth just waiting until they get nice and ripe. Right, I've got a few of those super sweet to gather in and then a bit of lettuce. Well, there we are, a nice mixed lettuce. A fair crop of small tomatoes, but that's nice to start with. And a couple of cucumbers, which I think there's going to be plenty of cucumbers. So I thought I'd get those picked and we'll have them while they're relatively young. What I did notice is that the basil is starting to flower so that's a sure enough sign to me that we need to pick the vast majority of this now and what we'll do is we'll zuz it up and freeze it in cubes so that we can use it throughout the rest of the year oh I spotted another tomato i think i'm gonna have him he can ripen indoors awesome right back for lunch there is a good news telephone call from Webbs of Krakow this morning. And that is that the steel replacement part for my streamer has arrived. Fantastic. So I'll be making a trip down there soon. But today, there's a different priority. Let me show you. So this is number one, IBC. And the level's there. And this is number two, IBC. And the level is there. So, there's only one thing to be done this morning, a refill. That's my priority. Darn, more butterflies in my cabbage nets. They are trying me, these. Well, Mrs. K has given the thumbs up for basil harvesting, and she also wants a few raspberries. So today I'm going to do just that, clip this basil. I need to go and get myself a pair of scissors. But the plan here is to take the basil down to about, I don't know, five inches. And it's starting to flower, so that's the indicator for me that it needs doing. And if we take it down to five inches, then there's a really good chance that we'll get another flush of basil. And what we do with that much basil is zuz it up with a bit of oil, usually olive oil, not the cod type. And that makes like a puree and that goes into the ice cube trays and into the freezer. And then you've got ready-made basil to add to anything during the winter months. So that's the plan. There's a lot of things flying around in here today, but that's good because all of these tomatoes are being pollinated and there's a few that are looking ripe this morning somebody was saying tony was saying that he's grown latar and that he was surprised that they were all such different shapes some little ones and some much bigger ones and he's absolutely right that seems to be the way it is this year and i've got some really big ones and i've got some fairly small ones but that's a decent sized tomato and if you get a good crop from these plants, which you do, then it doesn't matter that they're a bit smaller. Absolutely fantastic with a drizzle of oil and on a plate with some basil and some mozzarella cheese. Mwah! Gorgeous. Right, stop dreaming. It's basil time. Go get my scissors. Well, 
that is a cracking basil harvest and that'll make a good few trays of ice cubes. Um, picked up some lettuce as well, just got raspberries to get and I've taken those out because they've bolted but they'll go to the chickens, I love them and I've got a few plants here which will go straight back in their place. So a good bit of succession planning and I always find if you keep a few lettuce in small sort of, well, potting on trays then they stay fairly small until you're ready to plant them and then away they go. Which reminds me I need to get these purple sprouting broccoli into individual pots soon. Right, raspberries. Well apologies for the DIY, it's just that sort of day people are out doing stuff because the sun has gone in for a while, at least we've got some clouds. Well you've seen me pick a lot of raspberries and I can tell you I've picked at least four pounds that have gone in the freezer and we've probably picked another couple of pounds that we've used and these raspberry canes which I put in here have been unbelievably prolific which is great to report so I'm just gonna pick some for lunch because we're gonna have raspberry fool just raspberries folded into cream which is gorgeous but I won't bore you any longer I put it on time lapse because I know you're fed up with pick me picking raspberries I'm not Well, someone said the other day in the comments that it was great to see that my raspberries were a success. And I'm feeling like they are a success now. They're so easy to pick in this formation. It was a lot of work, but they've certainly come through in terms of fruiting. And it's just made it so easy to crop them. And I can see that there's a lot of these canes that are bare now, and I'll clip those away soon so that I know next year which ones are going to fruit and which ones are not. Right, I think I'm going to get all this over to the house so that it's fresh for Mrs K. I'll be back in a, well, second for you. Sprouts are looking good this morning. Oh, and we've got a flower on the little gem squash. That's starting to climb up. That's good news. These potatoes, volunteer potatoes, seem to be doing really well. And my potted potatoes seem to be okay. I'm reliably informed that even if they do lean over like this, that it doesn't cause too much problem with the amount of potatoes. So that's good news. Right, well, there's a couple of things I want to show you. Things that are quite exciting. This warm weather has done great things for the fruit. Let me show you some pears and some apples. Look at this pear tree now. And they really are beefing up these pears. And we just need to make sure that we don't get too dry down here. I mean, it is dry and it's hard to water a tree. But if I get the opportunity to put the hose on this, I will, because I think it will probably help the fruit. And this apple tree is just astounding. We're getting a nice pink blush on these apples and I should be thinning them out, but I'm just gonna let it do its thing. These on this side are that much bigger look because they've been on their own. So perhaps I should. Oh, how many have we got there? Two, four, six, eight. 10, 11 in a bunch. It's not good news, is it? Let's take some out. One, two, three. Put those down there. Yeah, four. They're on their own stems. I'm gonna live with that, I think. Should I take that one? Yeah, let's take that one. There we go. Thin down to six. Let's hope that results in some more, well, eatable fruit, something a bit bigger. 
I'll do it the same with that one. There we are, that's the sacrifice. We've taken off two, four, six apples in the interest of bigger apples. I thought we'd have a look at the broad beans too. I've been watering them the last few days and I noticed down in here, there's some good sized pods beginning to form. So it won't be too long now before we're eating broad beans. And there's quite a lot of pods on these, which is tremendous. There's another one forming. So that's actually, as you start to look, you see more and more. And this batch down here, let's see what they've got on them. Yeah, same, so plenty of beans beginning to be produced in here. Make a nice crop of broad beans to go in the freezer. And my parsnips, which I planted only a week or so ago, I have been watering them because it's been very warm, as you know, but they're starting to produce these bigger leaves, which is a great sign because that means they've got rooted and they're underway. It's when they start turning yellow, you've got to worry, but no, they're really doing nicely. I'm avoiding this section because it just looks like a jungle. But once again, I've got shorts on and I'm not going in there. So must remember, note to self, wear trousers next time you're on the plot. Look at my climbing rose. It's this year, never before. This year's its year and it's really blossoming beautifully. Fantastic colour. So every year now I just need to keep careful eye on that maple tree keep cropping it down and then allowing this climber to get more vigorous there's a butterfly just there beautiful well, one tank is filling up nicely it is on a slant this but it won't be long now before i'm heading for number two tank right let me show you what's happening in the squash beds. So it's been a difficult start for some of these and I guess it's it was cold and now it's boiling hot and we've got these really scraggly courgettes here. They're just sort of managing to keep going. That one's been eaten alive. I don't think it's going to come to anything. And then these three beginning to get established, which is nice. That means we're going to get some courgettes. And then over here, this small sugar has really suffered. It's just sort of holding on. And this one's doing fantastically well. And that's the sort of theme. We get a great one. This one's a struggle. That one's looking really brilliant. This one's gonna recover, I think. This one's doing really well. Recovering really well, really well, really well, really well. So it's gonna be a mixed bunch. And I've just seen the first couple of fruits one on there and one on there so we are going to get squash and pumpkins but i'm going to have to keep watering these throughout this really hot weather we're having and well we're tuesday now and this weekend sunday particularly is forecast for 38 degrees centigrade which is pretty hot for this area Right, tank number one is full and tank number two is underway. So I've just got compost ready in those little pots. It's time to start planting and potting on for 2023. Purple sprouting broccoli time. Right, time to get these fellas in. And we've got some really good healthy plants here. And we just push one up. I don't really need too many of these, but I sort of scatter sowed them. So there's plenty of plants. Right, we've got one big one there and I can afford to be really choosy because I've got so many. And there's a good couple there. So many big plants in here. And I'll just put those to one side for a minute. Take out another decent group break them up you can be pretty rough with them to be honest they don't seem to suffer from being handled 
Right, there's two in that one. Okay, so very simple with these. You just make yourself a decent hole and down they go. And as with all this family of vegetables, you can plant the stems into the soil without any problem at all. That's a really nice one. Let's get a hole there for him. And down he goes, nice and deep. Okay, I'll work my way through. And we should have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, twenty plants. Good times. Okay, that's twenty plants, plenty for me, and so many left over. I'm going to be finding some homes for those. Well, that's me done for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you did, why not like and subscribe? You could always get my updates every Wednesday and every Sunday at eight p.m if you click on the bell. I hope you've had a good week and it's not been too hot for you. The warm weather's coming. Die Ochenwahr. <laughs>